Let's take a look at the next piece in our pivot assembly that we're going to deal with. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and tackle the the handle post here. All right. So if we examine this, this looks like a cylinder on this part here, and this is a rectangle that's been extruded, and further down, it's a uh, the end of this rectangle is is rounded so that's a fillet and then there's actually a piece oops it's actually a part of the handle that uh, extends into this um, the handle post that extends into the, the actual handle here so let's go ahead and start a new part make sure you're in the metric folder okay. uh, we'll create a new sketch and I know from using this um, that this is the XY plane here. So I just left click on it. And let's grab the circle feature, center it on the origin, and then dimension this to 20, 20 millimeters. Finish this sketch and extrude out to 80, 80 millimeters here and let's uh, start a new sketch on the you know the, the side is facing us doesn't really matter grab the circle feature again and make sure to center it on the origin and we'll extrude oh, dimension this to 12 get out of this finish the sketch see extrude make sure you select the 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 center of the circle here and we'll extrude this thing to uh, 10 10 millimeters okay this is the section that's going to stick inside of the the handle um, and then we'll come on the opposite end start a new sketch and this time we're going to draw um, a rectangle and we don't have to really center it. I'm just going to draw and I'm going to enter these numbers in. This is the width is 5 and the length is 10. Okay. And then now, now I'm going to go ahead and constrain this. So horizontally there and then vertically. So this is set, and then I finish this sketch. And let's see. Um, let me go ahead and save this for now, and we'll call this the handle post. Okay. All right, and then in the next video, we'll go ahead and um, finish this part up here.